Well, hello and welcome back. I'm Frost PDP, and this is episode two of The Hip Emperor. Since we're playing the historic immersion project and all that, I figured, why not? Nice little acronym. So, uh, we are still 71, and not a lot of time has passed, but that's okay. Time doesn't have to pass very fast. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on finishing up this war with Armenia. We're going to set it so that we're on speed 3. And the first thing we're going to do is pause because I realized it's probably useful to have my soldiers on the march. So let's do that. Uh, before we even think of doing that, however, let's check out how powerful our enemy is. Well, we've already beaten her up pretty bad. She has about 715 troops available. She hates us. But that's because, you know, she hates us. And with so few troops available, we're just going to spread out the carpet siege her a little bit more. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check and just check exactly how much defense Karen has, since that's the war goal. Uh, 475 garrison plus 312 levy. Okay, so that means I, I can take it with just one stack of troops. And I'm going to order my guys through anybody that we have to, to basically start sieging the heck out of them. Let's let time run. And my wife Sarah is pregnant again. Alright. Okay, so right now my guys are just on their way. And we're going to look at... while we wait. Oh, we got some battles going on, but there's nothing major that I'm expecting. We're going to look at the laws screen that's kind of important. Uh, again, I'm playing as the Eastern Roman Empire, so we're already pretty stacked up on law, so hold up. The quality time in Rossia, I'm sure the idea is to become better friends with you. Okay, why not? Uh, but these are important. These are definitely different than I remember them from the Elect Crusader Kings, and that's important because, frankly, it's different. Oh, hold on. What's going on here? Oh, Rebels, never mind, they're not important to me. So, the Emperor's Peace is basically saying, who can the vassals declare war on? And since I can't change another crown law, it doesn't really matter, but... Yeah, um, it would be nice if my vassals couldn't fight each other. That would be good. I don't mind if they can attack outside of the country, but it would be nice if they could, you know, not attack inside. Uh, title revocation... And a free infidel revocation. That's pretty good. I can kick infidels out of the country. That was actually an issue earlier. External inheritance. It would be nice to get rid of that, but you know what? I like to bring people in, not out. Centralization. That's pretty important. I don't really care too much. It allows you to have a big domain size. It's kind of what uh, legalism used to be. Feudal administration. I'm just going to let time run in the background. Um, definitely imperial. I mean, vassal limit being much better is good. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the theme system, that I almost certainly cannot say is in Vanilla Crusader Kings. It's based on a real historical system that they tried to employ after Justinian. And basically the idea is that the more of it you have, the, uh, the less negative modifiers you get to taxes. Fair enough. Feudal focus is just whether or not you want to be more levy-based, you know, nobles have to give you military, or tax-based if you want them to give you money. Um, no real big difference there. Uh, let's check out military page. Uh, well, let's see here. Retinues, they got nerfed with Way of Life and Charlemagne. So that's not a big deal. Oh, look, somebody's in accused this guy of heresy. Well, who are you to me? Nobody. I don't really know. Um, this is one of those you really have little way of knowing. It would be nice, Paradox, if you could maybe give us a way of at least knowing whether or not he is or not. I'm going to say no just because I don't really care about my crazy arc. I'm the Emperor, and in the Byzantine Empire, I'm sorry, in the Byzantine Empire, uh, that's what matters. So let's see what else is on. Uh, military, mercenaries. You'll see how the Varangian Guard is actually in use. Oh, another son. Hooray! I don't care what you're named. You're like number 10, buddy. 
Did I see, did I just see Simsy? Well, some vampire, the masquerade stuff. Alright. Uh, mercenaries, the Varangian Guard is raised. Because they're my vassals, they cost nothing. And they're lots of men. And they're all heavy infantry, so that's pretty darn good. Uh, retinues got nerfed. They're, you can have a lot of them, but they're very expensive, so upkeep is an issue. Uh, let's see. Let's autosave, and then let's see. Uh, we're not in Iron Man mode, by the way. We're just playing around. I still don't think we're in Iron Man mode. Oh, cool. Free tech. Good work, kid. Yeah, it's got most of the stuff. It's also got options for, you know, no cast his belly cooldowns, because some of them require cooldown and historical immersion project. You can only declare so many holy wars in a year or whatever it is. Um, I don't care. I have prisoners. They are traditionally used as ransom, and that is what they will continue to be used as, because why not? Plots. Every so often you want to check this, because every so often someone will be trying to kill your family member, or you, so, like, if I don't want my guy... See, I don't, I don't really know if I want them formulating this claim. So I'm just gonna ask him to stop. And he probably will, because he's not an idiot and he wants to live. And I'm just gonna do a nice little check real quick. Uh, no, I don't think I really... Well, he's blind. I don't really care. Uh, again, I only care enough to check once in a while. That's my... Oh, okay. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Everything's going well. Oh, look, Patriarch's dead. I'm blind. I'm not dead. And now there's a new one. Hooray! Long live the Patriarch. Oh, my child. That's a guardian. Guardianship is one of those important things that can be a free opinion boost, but... Well, this is like my eighth kid. It doesn't really matter. Eh, let's see, why do you hate me? Is it something that's gonna go away? If it is... Castron Mistral? Uh... Sure, why not? I don't know. I don't care. So now he's gonna get educated. I mean, he's just an opinion boost, so no big deal. One thing I can't say I have any appreciation for with Crusader Kings 2 is how I can declare war over a single county, one little territory. It's a big territory, I guess, but it's really nothing in the eyes of the game. Yay, I declared war on you twice and you love me. Great. I feel like Paradox needs to just adopt the military. Sorry, diplomacy systems from Europa Universalis, and just just go with it because oh hey cool, I am not kind. Because really that's just what works best. I hate to say it, it's the truth. So you can go here, you can go here, no, you can go here, and we we'll wait a little longer. Whoa, hello. Hey hey, look at that. More tech, and this guy changed colors. I don't know why. Kila. He's gonna go try to take back some land. Let him. I don't care. This war will be over soon. Yeah, one of the annoying things about Crusader Kings 2 is you have to get to 100% war score before they will even think... Oh! There he goes. So let's see here. I have a new heir. If my character dies, I will now play as this dude. Okay, so I am Leon now, and I have a son who is already old enough to be an heir. He is terrible in terms of education. He's just not that good. Uh, now that I'm emperor, if I have a child, he will be born in the purple, and he will be the uh, new heir presumptive. That is good news. I wonder if... So I'm concerned now that... Ravenna will go independent. It doesn't matter, I can always come to the later. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not an expert on succession law. They don't have that class at the College of Study History. So, I mean, well, that's 
that's a good one. Any, oh, okay then. Well, let's see, I need to pick an ambition. You know why these are up top? Because these were my titles before I uh, took the throne. So basically, this is returning my previous lands to myself, getting him ready for his next uh, next life. And one more, one more. Uh, Let me solve. Fine. Whatever, doesn't matter. And I have one too many. I think I have one too many Duke titles, so I ought to give him one of them too. Too many Kosa. Yes, sure. Go, goodbye. Get lost. And now he's a dumb. Okay. Do I have any other. Any McFerrys? Nothing else that should be a problem. I'm not really sure why I kept this little territory over here. I guess it was just because it puts me near where the action could be. So he's trying to siege that back. I don't care. I'm just gonna I still have unlanded sons, but that's not really a big deal. I still need an ecclesiarch. There you go. I still need a military guy. That's probably important. Um, you'll stop with me. I should probably tell him to do something. You're going to collect taxes, you're going to collect money, you're going to train troops in constant time, you're going to have military you. Yeah, look here, you're going to go fabricate a claim on... Uh, well, if I can't fabricate a claim on Rome, I probably better fabricate a claim next to Rome so I can fabricate a claim on Rome. Uh, you're going to go study technology in France, because why not? And you can research cultural tech. And that's helpful because that's not so Okay, you guys are done. Setting that stuff up is important, but it's not the be all end all. It's just something nice to have. So, as I've been trying to say, I have everything I want to own and more seized down. But I have to get up to 100 more scare. More scare? More score. In your open universal sport, that's not really a priority. All you have to do to achieve power in that sense is to get a high enough war score to get the enemy to give you what you already want. It would probably work better than that. Uh, she wants me to be Catholic. I am an Orthodox because I should be, and I will debate her because who the hell are you anyway? Are you important to me? Are you my lover? No, you're just some random person. Okay, no. Have fun. Lose your debate, please. And she is not going to be Catholic. Okay, good. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. I have factions. Those are important. Uh, this is something I've noticed with the historical immersion mod. You get autonomy, and it doesn't really mean anything. Like, they would have fired if it meant anything. Okay, independence, well that could be annoying. This guy is a problem. But he's not the end of the world. And one of my brothers wants someone else. Or no, this guy just wants someone else, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't care, sure. And I'm gonna cry like a baby. Fine. My prestige is pretty low, actually. That's something I should get bumped up because that's free opinion, and opinion is good. Why don't I have a counselor again? I just did this. Alright. I could really use a good person in charge of my economy. Speaking of money, I have a lot more money. Is there anything I want to try to build an upgrade? Not really. 
so I've just inherited a territory from this guy. Oh, who's the guy who was trying to screw me? Well, isn't that nice? So, you. You're dead. You have a son that's uh, got land and could inherit your territory. And guess what? I'll give you your father's old title. That's silly. So, as soon as this flips, I'm gonna go back and attack the war goal again because, well, it looks like we're sitting there doing nothing. Go right ahead, have fun. And that flipped, and then you're gonna join him. Either he's gonna run, or he's gonna be killed. And again, I'd love to be able to just say, hey, you're at 87%, this war is over, and you're gonna die, but no, I can't do that. So, here we go. And now we're in battle. Let's give this a chance real quick to check out the battle screen. You'll notice there's really not much control. You don't get to choose tactics. They just sort of happen. You don't really get to choose how your men are positioned very much. You can choose the flanks beforehand. That's about it. It doesn't really feel like you're in control very much. I don't care about heresies right now. They can do whatever they want. Oh, she's offering me peace. This is the one thing they can actually do when it's the game is feeling like being merciful. It can offer you a piece of it. And even though I'm only at 93%, normally I'd have to be at 100. She gets that she's beaten, she'll give up my territory. Hooray, done, fight over, war over, no more people have to die for stupid reasons. And I can finally start to cobble my realm back together. I will have these armies stand down. She'll go home. So, after all of this, what happened? Well, my vassal got himself another territory, which should make him like me more. But uh, since my father's the one who pressed the claim, uh, my vassal has requested that a lower rank vassal serve her directly. Who the hell? Why are you asking that of. Oh, wait a minute. You are my unfaithful half sister's. Oh, you're the guy with that claim on Alba, huh? Well, that's an idea. I could see if I can go to war with Scotland and just conquer that off the top of my head. Uh, no, I like my other vassal better. Have fun with that. And my children again lacks a guardian, so I will give him a guardian. Oh, wait, this is one of my children, not one of my father's children. I actually care about this one. Uh, let's go military, because military sounds fun to do. And factions are still a problem, but it's probably not going to fire. I do have a faction. If I haven't touched on it already, is that if enough people side with whoever's in charge of the faction, they will make a demand of you. So, independence means we want to be independent. I can't allow that to happen because I'm in, you know, I'm the emperor of the Roman Empire. Why would I ever do that? I have prisoners, but they won't let me ransom them. And there are threats, but they're really no threat. And uh, right now I'm over, bringing over a peaceful country. It's a pretty nice thing. I'm disbanding all of the jumped up military I have. The only thing I'm going to leave a retinue because they're important. And by the time it is all said and done, I have 552 retinue left. Well, that's not quite true. I have everything that's over here, which is just easy to forget about. They are both retinue. I don't want to get rid of them. So I'm leaving some retinue for you guys. What are you even doing in the middle of the ocean? Also retinue. Okay, well that explains what my retinue is. Anyway, we're coming up on the 20 minute mark, so I'm gonna take a little break here. Thank you guys for watching. And once again, if you're enjoying, feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons and all of that. Claim on the Kingdom of Alba, huh? That might be where we have to go next, assuming there is such a thing. Well, until next time, thank you!